Kate Upton's husband has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. On September the 1st, 2019, the 36-year-old right-hander threw his third career no-hitter. Only six pitchers in Major League history have thrown three or more no-hitters, and Verlander just joined some of the game's best, like Nolan Ryan and Sandy Koufax in doing so. I think the coolest stat of all is how 66% of his career no-hitters have been thrown outside of the United States. He owes as much credit to the Blue Jays as anybody. There was a point in Justin's career not too long ago when you could have argued his career would continue going downhill. Because that's the way it looked. Downhill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, that's I a mean, good thing to tell your wife. Yeah, right? It's uh, all first, downhill from now, first, baby. First, Remember, he won the AL Cy Young and MVP in 2011 and the pitching Triple Crown. And only three years later, he had an ERA close to five. He picked it up a bit over the next few years after that, but then got into a bit of a rough patch during his first 28 starts in 2017 with the Tigers before being traded to the world champion Astros. Now in 2019, he looks as good as he's ever been and is probably gonna win his second Cy Young this year. You may be thinking to yourself, how can one guy have so much? How can he date her and throw this? and look like that. And I'd be inclined to admit that those are all valid questions. Justin Verlander seems to be doing as well as any 36 year old on the planet right now. He really is baseball's fine wine, and he's shown zero signs of decline since joining the Houston Astros. In fact, I'd argue that he's been better in his two and a half years with Houston than in any other two year span of his career, including his 2011-2012 seasons with Detroit. A lot of his success can be credited to the Houston Astros organization, which seems to take a Charlie Morton and turn them into a Nolan Ryan every single year. You could bring them a Tonka truck, and they'd find a way to turn it into a Tesla. Now I wouldn't call 2017 Verlander a Tonka truck per se, but you get my point. One of Verlander's biggest improvements since joining the Astros is his spin rate, especially on his fastball. The Astros organization has perfected the art of improving it for pitchers. They've been the top team in average spin rate for the past few seasons. Verlander is now in the 98th percentile in fastball spin rate in Major League Baseball, and that's allowed him to get a lot more swings and misses compared to past seasons, and in his first full season with the Astros, he shattered his career strikeout high from 2009. The Astros organization definitely deserves an in-depth video from me at some point down the line. Now, is Justin on a Hall of Fame path? I think it's a no-doubter, personally. He has 221 career wins and 448 career starts, with a lifetime ERA of 3.34. He has more wins than Hall of Famers John Smoltz and Pedro Martinez, and is 18th all-time in strikeouts, 32 spots ahead of the great Sandy Koufax. All of that going along with him being only the 10th pitcher in Major League history to win both the MVP and Cy Young Award in the same season, and one of six from the American League. Oh, and did I mention he's an eight-time All-Star and Rookie of the Year winner? That's a pretty strong resume for anybody in Cooperstown. Now you can make the argument about the whole Jaws requirement for Hall of Fame eligibility for pitchers, which I won't get into too much detail about in this video, as I feel if anything it could be its own separate one, but to me, Justin Verlander belongs in Cooperstown. He's one of the leading players in a trend throughout baseball where we've seen some of the game's best just get better with age. 35-year-old Max Scherzer is at his best right now, as is 31-year-old Jacob deGrom, 35-year-old Charlie Morton, and 32-year-old Hunjin Ryu. The list goes on. Pitcher nowadays, at least over the past few seasons, seem to get better as they get older. Justin Verlander is living proof that you can teach an old dog new tricks and is better than he's ever been. He has a chance to win a lot more as long as he's with Houston, and we should cherish the privilege to watch his craft. Justin Verlander is truly incredible. Thank you all for watching today's quick love letter to Justin Verlander. Liking the video and subscribing to our channel would help us out greatly. If you'd like more content from us outside of the videos here on YouTube, we also post sports content on Twitter and Instagram as well. You can find links to both of those down below in the description. That'll be all from me today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you all later.